I just wanted to take a quick minute to talk about one of my favorite Bluetooth speakers, the Cove Commuter. So what Cove has done with the Commuter has really bridged the gap between price and quality. This speaker was designed with ease of use in mind and you can really tell with everything that just comes in the box. Charging cable, an aux, and a user manual. It's really simple. Nothing for you to get messed up. And with a quick look you only see there's a few buttons. A mode button to switch in between outdoor and indoor mode. A power button. A volume wheel right here. And then there's actually a touch sensitive swipe to switch in between songs. Another awesome thing I love about this speaker, these really grippy feet down here along the bottom and here around the subwoofer really lets you confidently set the speaker wherever you'd like whenever you're playing and it. it's not going to roll around or slide away whenever you do anything. And then it pops up immediately on my phone. I'll definitely be putting the uh, Mini Minto update out this month. I uh, got a bunch of new parts for it. It's really exciting. All the parts were really, really hard to find because it's just old and nobody really has these things anymore. Only got one of the nuts on, but looks cool already. Are you watching? Yeah. Yeah. So I also just wanted to apologize for like not making videos recently. Uh, my laptop actually kind of like burnt out while I was out on tour with Orion and everyone, and it's kind of just a shitty situation. And I had to send it back to Gigabyte, and it was like just out of my one-year warranty and. They haven't contacted me back yet uh, with what the problem is, but they have it. Um, they're like in it, probably tore it all apart and everything. Uh, but they'll be getting back to me soon with whatever it's going to cost to fix that thing. And then I'll get it back and I'll be able to get back out on the road and travel and make more videos. But that was like one of the big reasons why I just like came home and like brought the cars back. I was just like, well, my computer broke. I can't really make videos now and that's all I was out here to do. So. I kind of figured I would just come back, kind of get my shit together, and then uh, go back out, meet them, see wherever they're at. I'm really excited to get back out there. I'm trying to get back out there as soon as I really can. Honestly, miss all of you fuckers. These ones are cool and all, but I feel like they just stick up so high. I guess you won't see me complaining since I'll be able to drive this thing now. Out in PA you need like state safety inspections and they like just require basically all of your mirrors, like your headlights work, tail lights work, blinkers, windshield wipers. So while I was still in Washington, I got these pretty cool wheels for the uh, Corolla. They're classic and they're little and they look pretty cool. It's just something to get it off those stock steelies too also. Yeah, and I was looking around for a fender roller. Nobody in my town really had one, so I just got on Amazon, found the only one on Prime and got it. It was like $65 and uh, it came broken, so this little knob right here. It's supposed to be a little knob uh, 
right there to be able to twist that, but there isn't, so I'm probably just going to put like a skateboard wheel or something on there. I really worked on uh, rolling these fenders to get these wheels on. But one thing that's really been bothering me about this car, the driver's seat. So, I'm going to go get a new one. Well, went out and found myself a 8.6 driver's seat. The guy was really cool, only had to drive like uh, two and a half hours to go get it, and he actually has the uh, matching passenger seat as well, which uh, I'll definitely be going to get as soon as he uh, takes it out of his car that he took this one out of. Also, uh, anyone that noticed, I only had one windshield wiper blade, and I actually, there wasn't even this little stud right here to put anything on, so uh had to get on the forums and find somebody with the old part. I actually have uh, like the other arm and everything for this. I just need the actual like nut that's uh, it, like seats down in there. But the, other than that, I've been doing everything to get this thing ready to be driving on the road. And I'm pretty sure the tires are going to need to be replaced. Not only do they rub, they're just kind of old. Also, one more thing that I'm super hype about. It took a really long time to get here. But this is a full metal front lip. It's a pretty aggressive styled lip. But I'm going to need to get a different front bumper. This one just sticks out so freaking far. But other than all of that, um, I think the next things coming up are going to be the five-speed swap that I've really been wanting to do to this thing. I'm going to get that passenger seat. Lastly, I've been uh, hunting for a four-headlight conversion. It's like two round headlights. I finally got some shirts. I'm going to throw the link down in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching these videos. And I finally got my laptop back. That's what I'm editing this on. I'm really excited to start making videos again.